Hello guys, my name is Ashish and today we will see how to host a Spring Boot REST service on Heroku. Uh, for that we must have a GitHub account, a Heroku account and sample Spring Boot REST service. And what we will do, we will push our code to the GitHub repository and then we need to link it to the Heroku account. So let's see how it works. This is my application on my local. This is my main class. This is my REST controller. I'm just returning a sample string value from the controller. And this is my application properties. So I'm using port 8080 and uh, context path as sample. So first we'll see how it is running on my local. So it is started now. Let me show you the endpoint. So yes, we are able to see the uh, response from the controller. Now the next thing is we need to push our code on uh, to the git repository. So let's create a new repository on git. So I'm using my one of the accounts on git. Let's create a new repository here. I will call it as a Spring REST Hello Repository. I will call it as a. This one is existing. Repo one, and I'll keep it as a public. So if you see you will get the URL for your repository. Now what we need to do, uh, we need to clone it on your local by using this command and paste the URL which you copied from, from the repository. So what I'm creating, I'm creating uh, an empty repository here and I will add my code to this repository. So my code is here. Now I'm copying it to the, you see this repository is created here and now I'm copying it in the repository. So let me log into my repository. Now I will add all the files to the to the repository. And I will check if those are successfully added. Yes, so you see uh, the files are added in the in the repository. Now you can commit them with the with this command. the message as first commit yes so those are created on my local now I need to push it to the server so it takes some time
so meanwhile we can check uh, that we are able to log in with the with the Heroku account so this is my dashboard so you see uh, the files are pushed to the server let's see uh, if it is reflected here yeah so you see the this was my commit message and these are the files which we pushed on the on the git repository now the next thing is we need to create an application on Heroku so I will say create new application so Heroku provides around 5 550 hours free but yes you can double check on their website so here I need to provide my application name so I will call it as a spring boot so currently I'm in India so I'll select Europe now I'll say create app so you are in the deploy option for it and we'll select github option so my account is already uh, linked here now I just need to provide the repository name so our repository name was this one if you search it it will show it here so now I just need to say connect now you see everything is connected successfully now the next thing is say deploy a branch So you see the logs are started rolling here it actually detects that it's a spring boot application and it started with your build oh, let's wait for the build yes so it is success successful and I'll show you something uh, in the overview find the option but let's try where it actually gives you the command to execute your uh, spring boot application yeah so here, here it is so it detects that it's a it's a spring boot application and here is the command it uses java hyphen jar and your jar name okay now we have already deployed the branch now let me open my application so you see this is the name which we provided uh, for our application now here you see nothing is loaded but you have to follow this pattern to get your endpoint running here it is 
so you you have successfully hosted your uh, REST APIs on Heroku so thank you guys and uh, in the next tutorial I will I'll show you how to use the MySQL service from Heroku and we will try to connect our application uh, to the to the database thank you guys if you like the video please uh, subscribe and uh, share the video thank you